I love deep cranking. You know, it is, it's an absolute efficient tool to cover a lot of water. You know, you can fish a lot of these offshore ledges and drops and things like that. And it's a great way to cover water. And it's also a great way to trigger bass. But almost always when I'm fishing for largemouth or I'm fishing for stained water, it's all about making sure that that bait's on the bottom. So when I'm cranking for smallmouth, that's when it really changes. That's when things really get different. And there's several reasons for that. Most importantly, smallmouth, they're just different. Oh yeah, great big one. That's what you're looking for right there. You know, when I'm cranking for smallmouth, most of the time, that means I'm fishing a clear water environment. You know, those fish can see the bait and it's the one rare time when having that bait down on the bottom isn't near as important. And in a lot of cases, it isn't necessary at all. The big thing with smallmouth in that clear water is they can see so well that if you have the bait down below them and it's, and it's on the bottom, a lot of times they get too good a look at it. One of the keys I've found is in that clear water is to fish it above where the bass are at, up, up off the bottom, so that they're looking up at it against that bright surface or the bright sky, and uh, they can't tell exactly what it is, but they can see that it looks like something that they need to chase down. Typically when I'm cranking for smallies in those clear water environments, I wanna have a bait that's running you know, five to seven feet above the bottom. And what I wanna do with it is make it look like it's got something wrong with it. So instead of just casting it with a straight retrieve, I'm stopping it and starting it, I'm jerking it, I'm fishing it almost kind of like a crankbait and a jerkbait at the same time. And that's what triggers those smallmouth. They can be so wild when they finally do bite it that having the right setup is absolutely critical. You know, for these smallmouth, a composite rod that has a soft tip is key. So I throw a CC6 and a CC4. They're both, you know, medium action or medium heavy action. It's got a real soft tip, a lot of backbone, acts as a big shock absorber. You know, when those smallmouth crash that crankbait, when you're burning along or stopping it and starting it, they're running into it. A lot of times they're going to be hooked outside the mouth or, you know, in the top of the head, things like that. So having a rod that absorbs some of that impact is going to be really critical. I really look at the water clarity and the sky conditions on choosing colors. You know, if it's cloudy and it's windy, having something that's real visible, but still natural is important. You know, something like this chartreuse perch looks a lot like the real perch, but if it's really cloudy and, and it's windy, man, chartreuse powder blue, just bright colors. A lot of times act like a beacon will get those fish to run a long ways and crash your crankbait. If it's calmer and you know, it's real clear water, something more natural, a big, big part of fishing for smallmouth with a crankbait is speed. So, you know, I typically still use the same crank and reel with a six two to one ratio. I like to pick up my pace a little bit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fish that bait a little faster. Some people like to go to a faster ratio. I like the feel that I get out of that particular setup. It basically brings in, you know, about 25 inches of line per turn. And I don't mind cranking at a faster pace, but speed is really important. You do wanna to fish that bait faster. You wanna make it erratic. You wanna stop it and start a lot. I'm gonna pop it a little bit, especially when it's almost back to the boat. That's when I really wanna do it. If one's following it, I'm gonna get those fish to react in a situation like that. So speed kills with smallmouth. So often these smallmouth are roaming in these huge expansive flats and fishing a crankbait is just the fastest, most efficient way with this particular technique that I can make them react to it. I can cover a ton of water. I can still make it uh, stop and start and it really triggers them. So I love cranking for smallmouth.